Hey everyone, I have a, a short video for you guys today <clears throat> in honor of May the 4th and you know the upcoming Han Solo Star Wars film which I'm very excited about. Um, I thought I'd take out all the Star Wars figures that I have in my collection and show it to you guys. Uh, you know, like many other people, I'm a huge Star Wars nerd, I've loved Star Wars ever since I was five years old. And so as you can imagine, I collected a lot of figures when I was a kid. And um, so yeah, I wanted to show it to you guys. What I've done is I've categorized the uh, action figures based off of the films in which the characters appear. So we'll start with Phantom Menace. And of course, we've got Darth Maul right there. Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan, the Droidicas, and then just, you know, some super battle droids. So we're getting into uh, Attack of the Clones now. Uh, you know, Count Dooku. Anakin with his arm cut off. Plo Koon, Caddy Mundi, Kefisto, Yoda. <laughs> Anakin again with his arm cut off. <laughs> I don't know. Seems like he's had bad luck when we were, my brother and I used to play with him when we were younger, so I guess he, both Anakins have had bad luck with their arms. We got Jango Fett there. Probably one of my favorite um, action figures in my collection just because there's so much detail and you know, the guns look really cool, and, uh, his armor is very neat, so. Cad Bane from Star Wars The Clone Wars. And uh, yeah, now we're getting to the clones. So basically what I did was I categorized them based off of rank. So we have Commander Cody, Commander Rex, and then the other uh, major generals. Now, as you can see, each of them have a lot of detail. Most of them have pouches where they put pistols in as well, which is really neat. And uh, then we just have the the cool looking guys that I think anyway, kind of the troopers that have a bit more uh, detail on them or, you know, have some nicer color. These are a mix of between the Clone Wars and also, uh, you know, Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith. And these are just like the pilots. And now we go to... Oh yeah, this guy's really neat. Look at that. His helmet comes off too. Snowtrooper. Basically in Revenge of the Sith, uh, during Order 66, this was uh, one of the people that were... Troopers that were shown. I'm, I'm a very big nerd. I'm sorry, I, I can talk about Star Wars all day. Uh, I got the Mandalorian guard here. And I uh, got some of the Jedi here. So we got Rom Koda, General Rom Koda. For those who don't know about him, um, he's featured in the Force Unleashed video game, which is now considered Legends. So it's not really part of canon, but um, basically he's a Jedi who survived Order 66 because he never, he didn't trust clone troopers, so he always had real people as part of his army. And so yeah, he survived. For me anyway, he's still, you know, in the Star Wars universe somewhere. So, very cool looking guy. And we got Mace Windu right there. Uh, of course, Darth Vader. A lot of detail. It's got the force chokehold grip. Must have, I guess, for any collection. And now we're going to A New Hope. We've got the uh, Death Star Trooper, a Rebel Pilot, the Sand Trooper, and uh, another kind of, uh, sorry, an Imperial uh, Agent. Now I also had some of the guns out here because I wanted to relate it a bit back to my military that I collect. If you look here at these guns, you can see that George Lucas really adopted a lot of the um, design of uh, basically German World War II weaponry. So if you look here, I mean these are almost spitting images of the MG34 slash MG42. And then also if you look on this one here, which is featured, this gun you don't see much in Star Wars, but it is featured in uh, A New Hope. And look, I mean that's almost exactly like the MG15, complete with a double ammo pack so it's 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 really neat but yeah, I just wanted to show that to you guys uh, moving on Return of the Jedi I don't have any from uh, Empire Strikes Back uh, but yeah so from Return of the Jedi we got the bounty hunter uh, who was in uh, Jabba's cave We've got the rebel soldier We've got Han Solo another rebel soldier from the Battle of Endor uh, Luke Skywalker and of course, Boba Fett. Couldn't get him to stand for some reason, so that's why he's lying down. But yeah, very neat, a lot of detail. And then, we've got just a couple. 
indulged my inner child when I was at the store a couple times and you know I had some money so I thought I'd buy this first order trooper because he looked really cool and then we've got huge sized versions of um, Snoke and the uh, one of his bodyguards so if you look here like if you look compare them obviously this guy's way bigger because he's more of a model I guess and uh, you know impeccable detail on his face I mean he has so many openings and so many wounds you have to ask why how he's even still alive right now but uh, so he's I mean he's pretty cool and then we've got the his bodyguard which obviously was very very neat in both the film and in having you know an action figure like that it's, it's cool and yeah guys so that's my collection I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know which of the which of these action figures are your favorite or if you have any in your own collection that uh, is cool as well and yes yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching